And here we are again with yet another amazing and fascinating story from one of the, the local people here on Bougainville. So with me here, I have Stephen, um, who was the chief in command for the, the head of the riot squad. Is that the correct, correct wording? Um, during the during the conflict here in 1988. So Stephen, amazing role to have. It's such a fascinating time in history for Papua New Guinea and for Bougainville. What was that like when the conflict broke out here and, and you were required to come across with your squadrons? We were at the Medang, another province of Papua New Guinea, and we were at, at one of the operations out there. But uh, uh, the, the day, month in the year that we, we came across here was uh, August uh, 13, 1988. That's when the LO, so landowner of Panguna mine, you know, the time, uh, the year back then, uh, the land, land owner, uh, the, 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 the man himself, uh, none other than Francis Honor, the late Francis Honor, you know, he was uh, mobilizing its uh, indigenous or the people up there to shut down the mine. Okay. So we came here because that's the area where I was, you know, in charge of taking care of the NGI. What sort of things were you dealing with? What situations were you helping the people with or trying to suppress? We were looking after the New Guinea Island region. So there's no other, you know, police personnel so, uh, to come here. It's, that's our area of operation, AO. So we were uh, airlifted from Medang to Rabao on uh, airlines being the one of the third level airlines operating the key at the time. So we came on seven, eight, nine, nine chartered wow. yeah, the crew flew from Rabao to Aropa Airport and then up, up we go to Panguna. Okay, so Panguna was the theme area that you were working in and obviously that was the, the heart of the, the conflict. Exactly, yeah, that's where the mine is, yeah, Panguna mine is. Yeah. Yes, yes. And so how long were you over here for? I'll do September, October, November, December. So the, the late uh, first owner, you know, it was shocked to see him, you know, um, police personnel, you know, yes. why Scott we um. Yes. So when he saw us, you know, he came and he was asking, hey, why are these uh, uh, right Scott people uh, up here? Then one of my uh, police officers was telling him, for safeguarding the company assets and property and whatever, and the employees we came. So I was so pleased to be, you know, as an officer in charge, and I was the very first police officer to be to meet the man who started the whole thing. Yeah. And so when, when you left in December, had you achieved what you came over to achieve? Okay. When Honor saw me and he was so honored, you know, to meet the commander, at that time I was 23 years old, a young police officer at the time. He was so happy and he was telling okay, me, mate, uh, lucky and I'm was very fortunate to have you as a commanding officer. And I'll tell you what, I, I don't have comes to, to shut down the mind, but it's good and I'm glad that you are here. And I'll be more honored if you can supply me with your arms and uh, ammunition so that I'll be, you know, extra, I'll have extra water to, yeah. Yeah, to keep this mind shut. And I was, I, uh, I boldly, I told him, uh, with due respect. Frankly speaking, uh, that's going to be a very hard thing. I won't give you a hand. Yeah. And this uh, directive, wanting us to you know, come down to Panguna, just for, for safeguarding the company assets and property and whatever, and the uh, employees became. So. And so did you have to come back over again at all during the conflict, or was it just once? No. That was the beginning. That was the beginning. We came down here two days later, that's 15th, we came here, okay. 89. Yeah. We came, we, we, we were up at Panguna Mine, and we were there up until 1990, February, February 17th. My, my, myself and the, my team, we left, my team, we left, prior to the first ceasefire. Okay. Yeah. And then 91, we came back the second time we we were on the ground, maintaining all these things, bringing restaurant services back to the local places. Yes. We came and we stayed up until 1997, the last is fire to where we are today. Okay, okay. So it was a long process yeah. for, for your squadron. And amazing. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, thank you very much so, for having me with you on this uh, chat here. So, so thank you very much for our time.